Welcome to our Splattentop painting today. I almost fell off my chair. <laughs> okay, we're going to paint something really fun right here in the background. You can see this cute little witch's hat. See that? So cute. <laughs> we're not going to paint this whole hat, but we are going to paint this cute little spider in the corner. See how cute he is? I'm going to show you how to paint him. Okay, you guys ready for this? Let's do it. Okay, first start off with your fun palette ready to go. I already got my colors poured on, which I'll tell you about in a second. Get your water, your paper towel, and your brushes. Three sets of brushes. Big, flat, little medium flat, and teeny tiny little round brush. Those are the ones I use all the time. So here's our color, color palette for today. We got five colors for this painting that we're going to do. We got an orange, which is our base, and a white, which we'll start out with first. And then we got a darker gray, a black, and just a, like an aqua blue color is what I'm going to use. But you can swap out colors here as I'm going. I'm going to tell you to start with, you could even do a purple or a green base. But these are the ones I'm going to use today just because it's similar to my picture back here. So the first thing you want to do is figure out what color your background you want to be. Get that on your palette with a little bit of white. So if you're going to do a green, do a green and white, purple and white, whatever you're going to do. I've got orange and white. Get your brush wet, dab it off a little bit, dip it in the orange, and brush stroke that all over onto your canvas. No rhyme or reason why or how. Dip it in the white next and dip and scribble that on there. And you'll just go back and forth all over until you have it covered in some streaky orange and white, green and white, or purple and white, whatever you're going to do. So yeah, make it be relaxing. Have fun. Have fun with that. Get some fun textures in there. Okay, get your tiny skinny round brush, dip it in water and a little bit of white. You dive off the water, of course, a little bit. Get some white. We're going to create a spider web right through the middle of this painting. So you kind of just start any angle you want to. Drag this little bit of white line all the way across on that same angle. Now, if you've seen I broke it up a little bit, that's okay. It looks cool. It's like a broken up spider web as you're going. Kind of cross it down through the middle and see how it's not perfect. That's exactly what you want. Right through the middle there. My star part isn't even in the middle, so I think the more imperfections you have, the cooler it looks sometimes. The funner it is to study and look at. Okay, here is so let's do one more. Mm -mm. Yeah, let's do one more. Okay, right there. Now what you're gonna do is you're connect, gonna connect all those with kind of sort of a funky U shape, backwards U. So you're just gonna connect them. So you're doing a scoop back and forward. And this is kind of just way off in the background. So don't worry about it being too perfect. It's not what we wanna look at mostly. Just go to the second line level and do another scoop backwards. See how easy that is to create a spider web? The spider, by the way, oh, just do like that. The spider, by the way, is a cute little spider. I just love him. Okay, then just kind of keep going back until you filled up your whole entire painting with these backwards you sculpts. Halloween's one of my favorites. I just love the cutesy funness of it. I mean, that sounds funny because it's gory, but I don't like the gory stuff. I like the cutesy stuff. There, there's our spider web. Isn't that fun? Created it easy. Woohoo, we could be done with that painting. It looks so good. Go back and find any spots that you think you want a little bit more on there. Fill them in, and then we'll call it good for a minute. I will let this dry for a second. I wanted to tell you, my daughter, she's an artist too, and I thought you'd appreciate some of her art. Last night... She did my makeup, so she was a makeup artist. And I want to show you some of our photos, our makeup ops, our modeling pictures. I thought you'd love them and get a kick out of them. So check them out. Nice, right? She's an artiste. Okay, let's create our spider right about here-ish. <laughs> like that? Here-ish. <laughs> oh, 
We're gonna do them right here. We're gonna do some funny legs that kind of look the same as the spider web. It's kind of got that same backwards U shape kind of thing. So get a little bit of black on your skinny little tiny paintbrush. And we're gonna do his legs first. So we're gonna start with a scoop up. It comes out like that. A scoop out and a scoop back down again. That's one leg. Okay, then we're gonna do this kind of follow the same pattern out again. Right underneath that first one. Then we're gonna do the next one. And then one more. Kind of following the same pattern. That's four legs. And we'll do the same thing on the opposite side. We're gonna go one, two, three. Isn't it cute? Do I think I need to put one up higher than that? Looking at it, I'm gonna do one up higher than that. That's gonna be his second leg. So we're gonna go up higher. There, does that balance out a little better? Kind of do that. You can figure out as you're going where you're thinking that spider's gonna lay. Okay, and one more little leg right here in front. Ah, oh, perfect. There's our fun little spider legs. And you can put like a little knobby knee on each of the little joints, which I like to do. Spiders need little knobby knees, especially this guy. He's so cute. There's a little drop of paint right at each of those little tiny spots on the knees. I like knobby knees. And his legs are ready to go. Okay, rinse out the black out of your brush. Put the darkest gray on your palette, this color. Okay, and we're going to make him some, actually, you know what, let's do eyes first. Get your white and put white on there first. And we're going to put some eyeballs where we want his eyeballs to be. Okay, I'm going to use my medium brush for this. Okay, white eyeballs. I'm going to put them right about here. One here, just going to fill that in with the white. And one right here and you might pick up some black and that's okay just kind of wipe off your brush you know how i am with drying my paint it takes that's too i'm not patient enough for drying paint okay so just kind of if you're patienter than i am that's great you can wait a few minutes to put these white eyeballs on but i'm gonna put them on right lot there there there's this cute little eyeballs they keep two white dots now we can get our gray and our little skinny paintbrush and you're just going to kind of take some gray right out from his eyeballs. And you can go into his eyeball just a little bit. Don't worry about being so perfect, but kind of come out on the top around a little bit. And you're just creating this really fuzzy little body of a of this spider. Okay, and just make these long, fuzzy, hairy stringies coming out. Okay, and then go right onto it. And if you pick up some of the black and stuff, that's okay because it will... Look like some fun different shadowing in the hairs and stuff. It'll be fun. Okay, so here's this cute little fuzzy body. Fuzzy body. Like that. And just kind of drag them down. I can. You can even take a little bit of black and kind of put it in there as part of the... Do you guys see what I'm doing? I hope I'm not covering that. Oh, I'm so bad at covering it when I'm painting. Anyway, there's this cute little fuzzy body. You kind of look, step back and see where he needs a little bit more hair. What needs to be added. Okay, there's his body. Then you're gonna come on in top of that with some black again. Well, I don't know where these accents come from. <laughs> but paint him a little bit of a hood for his for his eye. This is kind of like his little, I don't know, eyelid, I guess. This is where you can give him some personality. He can be sad, he can be happy with these hoods. Inquisitive, you know, whatever you want him to be. Put a little line right down the middle of the eyeballs. And kind of go around your eyeballs with a little bit of this black as well. And you'll pick up different colors, which is cool. You can, it's fun. It adds to the adds to the picture. Gives you the, the dimensions that you want to have when you pick up some different colors. Okay, so there's those cute little little eyeball hoods. Okay, and they're cute. I'm feeling that way just a little bit. There we go. Okay, we'll leave them there for a second. Get whatever color you want for eyeballs. That's why I chose this blue color. I think it's kind of fun. But you can do purple eyes, green eyes, whatever you want to do, do the color you want to, you're in the mood for. Put a little bit of the circle color right in the middle of his eyeball. Okay, and this is where you can kind of make him have personality too. He can have really close eyeballs together, far off eyeballs, like the personality of him will come through in his eyeballs. It's funny how eyeballs add a lot of personality to characters is to give him a little mouth and he can have kind of an angry mouth which is a zigzaggy he can have a smiley mouth he can have whatever you're thinking this little spider's personality is gonna be i'm gonna give him kind of like a little crooked 
smile like this because I think that's so cute. My spider's a cute spider. Okay, there's his little crooked mouth on mine. And then I'm going to give him a couple of eyeballs with black. So just kind of touch. You can either use the back of your brush as a tootie dotter or the front. And just give him some little dots right in the middle of his eye. Or not even in the middle. You can do wherever you want to to kind of give him the personality that you're wanting. He can have crazy eyes, googly eyes. Okay, kind of right where you want his little eyeballs to go. Isn't he cute? You can even give him a little nose <coughs> if you want to whatever you're wanting to add to him, but I don't think spiders really have noses. If you're a total nose fan, give him a nose. I'm gonna take my nose off. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's the beauty of this. You can change it however you want to. Okay, so once you got that, the last thing you wanna do is just give him a little bit of web that he's hanging from because he can't just be floating. I guess he could be crawling on the web. That's totally up to you, but I'm gonna add a little spider web string that kind of comes up from him. Up, 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 all the way off. Because he's hanging down from that. And I'm actually going to give him a little bow in it, too. Just for some personality. Two little loops. And some little curly strings that hang down. Off of his bow. A little knot in the middle. There he is. He's my cute, dangly, hangy spider. All finished. Also, if you wanted to, just add a few little sparkles in the web and some dots just for fun just kind of because he's a sparkly magic spider I don't know okay put some fun little things around in there if you want to if not leave it the way it turned out it's cute can you see what I'm doing <laughs> I always stick my finger right in the way there finished so he turned out really cute. He'll be a fun Halloween decoration. Give him a name. Harry Houdini. Just kidding. Anyway, if you like this picture a lot, this spider, and uh, you like the whole witch's hat that goes kind of with it, check it out. It's on my Etsy shop for print, so you can get the whole thing with this cute little dangly spider. And if you just love your little spider, paint him up and put him out for fun and Halloween decoration. Anyway. Um, I have to say something spidery. The itsy bitsy spider climbed up the water spout. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, is there a Halloween spider thing? I can't think of anything spidery. Nothing. By the fact that in the art barn last night, after I cleaned up from my witch's party out there, I found a cockroach the size of looked like real I gotta show it to you oh my god I've got to show you this cockroach it's disgusting I freaked out I brought it inside it had a screw stuck in its belly and I was like what the heck and my son's like it committed suicide and I'm like this is so gross anyways I was grossed out and my husband tells me it was fake and I was like it can't be fake anyway it was fake I have to show that to you too anyway I'll show you at the end of the video I love you come paint with me again bye bye Can you see him? There he is. Looks gross, doesn't he? Look at the screw. Can you see the screw in his belly? Ew. I was grossed out. I was grossed 